the Sphinx of ancient Kemet. The Sphinx. That will be the title for this podcast. And so, many of us who have studied, you know, Gnosis would have come across the Sphinx in a place today called Egypt. Now, we, we notice that the Sphinx, which has a, a lion's body and a human head, is constructed facing the rising of the sun i.e. eastward now when you read the gospel of thomas it is written blessed is the man who eats the lion and the lion becomes a man and curse is a man who's eaten by the lion and he becomes the lion And so, as we look at this object, we see the lion's body with a man's head on top of it. But the head dressing of this pharaoh, or this pharaonic head, is shaped into a pyramid. So, this tells us the man must conquer his animalistic behavior or nature in order to put on top the capstone because your head is your heaven and when there's light in your head you become the son of God And indeed, we are all sons of God. It's just that our animalistic behavior, which we have learned in the little time we have spent in the earth. And so we don't want to become like Esau, who sold his birthright for a piece of stew or soup because he was hungry. That is a symbolic meaning. Because Esau represents the flesh. And so when we live according to the flesh, we give up our birthright as sons of God. And so this is a great work that we will spend many incarnations on the earth trying to perfect. Now when you look at the Masonic system, in some of their images, you have the spade, a coffin, and a grave. The spade represents your spinal column and a sacred bone, which indicates energy coming downwards into the earth. This is the degenerative mind we are destroying our energy and so when you look at the symbol or the headdress of the pharaoh on top of the lion if you flip the spade the other way around it represents or it resembles the pyramid and that's why the Egyptians or the Kemites wore the apron in front of their genital area meaning they are not bringing down the energy into the earth but reversing it back upstairs to the head just as you have on a sphinx to illuminate the mind via the pineal gland Got it? And so this 33 vertebrae 
which in the Bible you are told the Son of God died according to the flesh in order to return back to the Father. It is a work that we all have to perform willingly crucify the flesh in order for the spirit to live. It is a very simple story that has been made so complicated in the earth. And so, in the ancient times, for a child to be a priest, when they were born, they would be given into the temple so that they do not corrupt themselves or spill the sexual energy. Hence, you have the apron in front of the pharaohs, which the masons also wear. And as you know, condoms were created first as a form of birth control. Obviously, today it helps to prevent STDs and STIs, sexual transmitted diseases or illnesses. But its primary function was to prevent unwanted pregnancies so in other words we want the orgasm we want the pleasure but we do not allow the sperm to do that which it was created to do and so we wear the condom or femidom whatever And so we rob ourselves by practicing these things, which we have all been enjoying in the earth, most of us, because many of us were not born into churches. We go to church to listen to the Gospels. But on Saturday night, before that Sunday, we went to the clubs. And so, this born-again system is for all of us to change our actions. Otherwise, we become Esau. We have sold our birthright in order to please the flesh. Peace.